In this video I took earlier in the month, Dave is making the formers for KB976 fuselage. This video covers the forming of the inside curve by 90 degrees. Video 132, Dave was bending around the outside curve of the former. Dave's got it in the vise and he's already knocked it over once and has stretched the material on the inner curve. On some shots, the light reflects on part of it is knocked over, making it look convex, but actually it's concave. Right. Initially, I, I, knocked, I knocked it over once, then I stretched it all the way down. Yeah. And then this, this flat part here, that goes over fully on the second pit. Yeah. So, so it'll go over fully this time then, will yeah, it? Yeah, I'll just tap that down now. Mm -hmm. And then I'll tap this a bit further and then take it off again, stretch it and probably about four or five times before, before that radius goes over. Yeah. Good. Then so, once, once I've made them all, then I've got to cut them all out, yeah. put all the line holes in, and then obviously drill them up on the... Yeah. So you've completed two port ones, have you? Yeah. As far this as bending them. Yeah, this is the third port one. This should be finished today. Yeah. And then we'll start on the board. Oh, good. And you're still working it out, it's in the yeah, inside. Yeah, this is the final bit to take it down yeah. on, on the flat. I mean, that, this should all go to 90 this, this time round, so... It's quite awkward to move about in the vice when you're right. It goes yeah. up that way, so... But... And the nylon jaws of the new device will stop all this marking. Well, the mark, it? yeah, yeah, when they arrive, yeah. Um, still do the same, obviously the same job. But when that... You can see you've stretched it just there because you've got excess material. Yeah, up. so when when I start to hit, what, what I've got to do on this radius, come around the side, is try and keep that back edge up and start hitting on the radius to basically get it, start to get it over the radius. If I hit it straight down on that now, it will split. So you've got to try and keep this up for as long as you can and, and work, work that bit flat so it's going like that. And then, then finally when you stretch it, it'll gradually bring it down. And then it's the stages to get it over the radius. Yeah. Um, you can't just knock it flat like that one, so. Um, so that's why I use this special shape end of the hammer to get right into there and then that gradually take it over the radius. Well, if I whack it straight down on that now, it will split. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You have to take it quite steady on this because it goes too far. Obviously, it's twisted, so. Take it, it would be easier if we, you were using T0. Oh, definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. As you can see that. That's gone tight again now, where before it was wavy. Yes. It's gone a bit tight, so that's as far as I'm going with it. Yes, it looks a bit tight now. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, I can, I can see with the eye, it's yeah, gone over yeah, yeah, on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Flapping about. 
up there. Yeah. Dave has completed this stage on the right hand side and starts on the left. I will concentrate only on the right hand side. Our next, next job is to stretch along that edge again there, the same with that. Probably do a very light one along there yeah. as well. And then it's back, and then it's back in the jig. And yeah. Still keeping this back edge up for now. Yeah. Um, so you're working your way yeah, out. Until I get about three quarters of the way across, and then you can finally hit the last bit down. So we've got to still try and keep it up and, and gradually work it across yeah. there. Yeah, that's really gone over. Yeah. Amazing how it just suddenly starts to go. Yeah. But then you haven't got to get too enthusiastic and, <laughs> and just... Yeah, get carried away yeah. and then you can split it at the last minute. Yeah.
That's it. The bend is done, is it? That's that side down. Just fingers crossed the other side now. So. Yeah. I was a bit nervous that last bit just in case it goes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's, not, it's like I say, it's not quite 90 yet, but the rest of it will have to be clamped on the bench and just tapped up. Yeah. And then most of it will get trimmed away. So. Yeah. But it, it's oh, down. well done. Do that other bit and hopefully all good to go. Yeah. There we have it. That's it. Oh, well done Dave. Yeah. That's a good job, well done. It's always pleasing when it goes. Yes. <laughs> goes right. Yeah. EK has acquired a very highly skilled workforce including the volunteers. Now Dave's trimming it down to size. Brad and Sticky refit the fuel tank bay cover. The bay is empty as the tanks will be sent away for repair and will come back in airworthy condition. Earlier videos show Jerb and Bill getting the tanks ready for dispatch. <laughs> 